In this video, what we're going to look at are left indent, right indent, first line indent, and what drop caps are. Uh, if you've ever worked in Word before and you've tried the left indent something, it's really hard to get it to work. Well, InDesign, it makes it so much easy. So much easier. So we're going to grab this first paragraph and we're looking inside the paragraph palette. And your first thing here um, is your left indent. So if I want to left indent that, all I have to do is hit this upper arrow. And that's it. Everything left indents to it. I can even go in and add another paragraph. And there it is. It's left indented already. There's nothing that I need to change with it. There's no like confusing if I ever want to change it. I can just go here and just do zero and it brings it back. Right? Really nice. Uh, let's do 1.125. Okay, so let's do right indent. And right indent is the same idea. Now it's just indenting from the right side. So let's, uh, let's just see, we'll hit the up arrow and you can see it is indenting. Now you could pair that up with some justification um, and then you have your kind of right indent from there. I could also put a left indent if I wanted to, if I really want to kind of manipulate it. And there we go, all right? So let's look at the next one is a first line indent. If you didn't want to indent the whole entire thing, you're writing a, a paper, you're doing something as a book or whatever, you just want to indent the first line. Well, InDesign also makes that really easy with just some up arrows as well, right? And you can also get that all at the top here as well. This is just showing you um, other ways you can get it with the paragraph palette. Let's take a look at drop caps. So we're going to select this paragraph. And inside the drop caps, right? So if I hit here, there we go. So I'm gonna say, so this is how many lines it wants to take up. And this is the amount of words. So I could do two words or, or it's not, sorry, not words, uh, letters, right? So I could say I, I want, a whole bunch that way. Or I can say, you know what? I only want the first one indented and that's it. And that's dealing with drop caps. Um, that's dealing with left indent, right indent, and first line indents really easily inside of InDesign.